there's two camps in the bodybuilding space right now, and that's gonna be your Alex Eubanks and your Sam Solix, and everybody's debating which one is right. And I'm here to show you how they're both right and both wrong. Ooh, I know, scary graph, but stay with me. I promise I'm gonna show you how this works. Muscle growth is just dependent on two things, your exercise intensity and the amount that you can recover from it. So on this side of the graph, we have our exercise intensity on a scale of RPE and your recovery just as a score measurement. And so this line in the middle is gonna represent how maximum muscle growth is going to work. And then this is gonna be more of your Sam Sulek ranges. And then this line here is gonna be more of your Alex Eubank ranges. And again, I'm not saying that Alex Eubank doesn't train hard or Sam Sulek doesn't recover well. It's just an example. Don't take the numbers literally. So let's look at this top line that we named as the Sam Sulek line. So at a certain point in time, you can exercise very, very intensely, but you can't necessarily recover from it up to a certain point. And so we'll label this point as being a 10 on the intensity scale, but only a four in terms of recovery. Because you work so hard, you can't recover well from it. This bottom line here is gonna represent, we named it as the Alex Eubank line. And so let's say you only worked out at an exercise intensity of four, you can recover very, very well from it, a 10 out of 10. And so muscle growth is just a function of exercise times the recovery. And so we can look at both of these points. The Sam Solik four times 10 is gonna equal 40. And then the 10 times four for the Alex Eubank is gonna equal 40 as well. This maximum muscle growth line here that we see where we can still work out at an exercise intensity of eight out of 10 and still recover to the best of our ability, possibly even a 10 out of 10. You can see how that number now goes to 80. We can double our muscle potential. The goal of this video isn't to call anybody out. It's just to show you that you can still work out at a very high intensity so long as you're able to recover from it. This is gonna vary between many different people, but work out in the highest intensity that you possibly can to where you can recover at the maximum possible ability.